Hello, I've got a really quick one for you today. So it's to do with changing articulations on Logic's studio strings on a pre-recorded MIDI part. Let's dive right into this one. Okay, so here is the problem that often crops up. You've got multiple string parts that you've recorded here. And basically what you want to do is you want to copy one of the same string parts over to another channel. In this case, it was a viola, but I want to copy it over to a cello part. So the cello is playing exactly the same thing, but obviously with the cello playing it. And I want to be able to change the articulations. Well, let me show you what the problem is. So we've got this viola part. Beautiful. And I'm just going to copy that over to the cello part. As you can see, that's playing perfectly fine. But what I actually want it to do is play with a different articulation. So as you can actually see, this, what it's actually loading up at the moment, isn't correct because it's actually playing back spiccato where it needs to do something slightly different. So for example, if I try and change it to pizzicato, is exactly the same, go to sustain, is exactly the same. And you would have thought that should be changing the sound. And in a way it is changing because if I go to play this part on the MIDI controller, it's playing the correct articulations on the instrument. Sustain, let's go to pizzicato. There we go, it's all working, but you play back the track. It's not following what's going on in the instrument. That's because the articulation is essentially baked into the MIDI region. So when you record that, whatever articulation you're recording it at will be stored within the MIDI region itself. So that's where you actually have to change it. I'm going to show you a couple of places where you can do it. So if we go into the MIDI piano roll over here, you'll see the articulation is showing up over here. But what you need to do is actually select the notes you want to change it on. Because it's quite powerful, you can essentially change the articulation on every single note if you like. But what we're going to do is we're just going to select all of this particular region. So all of these notes are now selected in this region that we that we copied over. Over on the left here, you've got articulation and now you can change it there. Let's go to pizzicato. And let's try sustain. And staccato. Now you can see it's actually changing. Uh, one thing to bear in mind here, if this part here, if this articulation is not appearing, that's because you've not chosen an articulation set. So just over on the left here, you might have none selected, in which case it disappears. So just make sure that you go back into articulation set and choose whatever instrument you actually were intending to use there. So we're going to go back to studio cellos because that's what I was using before. And now the articulation set appears. Now the other place you can do that is you can go over to the event list. So either go up to window here or Apple 7. And as you'll see, you've got all of the articulations here as well. So let's just change that just to show you it happening. And there you go, so you can change it all there as well. So just for one more confirmation, I've just loaded up the string instrument over here and you'll notice actually it does, it's not showing the correct articulation because if I change it down here, again with all of these selected, that's playing pizzicato and not sustain because this, this part here, this articulation here is actually only relevant for when you're recording it in. And that's the main thing to remember there. And as you record it in, just remember, it's going to essentially bake that into the MIDI region. It is actually in a very good way because it means that when you set up lots of different articulation sets and you set up the keynotes to do that, you can change it very quickly and have lots of different notes using different articulations throughout the same phrase. But that's for a whole new other video, which we're not going to look at for now. So hopefully that is of use. Chuck me a comment if you've got any questions. <laughs> Let's <laughs> go.